What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to, I don't even know what part this is, but you'll see whenever I make the title. Um, in Assassin's Creed, and this is another Assassin's Tomb, and it's called Il Dumo's Secret. I always say El Duermo's Secret, but I know that's wrong now. But anyways, the first thing you need to do in order to get in is hire some Cortesians, where you just saw me do, and go ahead and uh, distract these guards right here. I'm like, hey baby, what's your name? Sure, I'll leave my job post. See ya. And then just go ahead and open the door. Very fancy door, in fact. I wish our, all of uh, the door handles were like that. So just go ahead and sneak in. And now you see some people. And they're going to go through a short dialogue real quick. And uh, I'll let you listen in. But this, the cool thing about this tomb is that there isn't any guards. It's just like a huge puzzle that you need to navigate through. And the tricky part is not falling and dying so make sure you stock up on medicine before you do because if you don't you don't want to have to die and you know obviously the only thing you have to do is not die so listen to this Di Grazia, stay away from the artwork on the walls and when your men paint the dome take care not to disturb any of the sacred relics in the lanterna on top they are the most important artifacts in our church. Yes, yes, Padre. Just make sure to pay us the full sum for our work. And then it's going to go ahead and show you the box that you need to climb up or pretty much a starting point. So you pretty much don't interact with any other people during this game. All you need to do is sneak around the church until you find the tomb. And the tomb is actually at the top of the church. Weird place for a tomb, I know. But go ahead and accept, and go ahead and climb over to here, and climb that, and my video's lagging for some reason, but it should be good. So go ahead and climb this, and that, and go ahead to the right, and get on top of the door, right there. And now, once you get on top of the door, you're going to want to have to hop over here, and I always miss this, so yep, might as well just miss it again. And now, what you need to do is go around and climb it again. I'll get it this time, guaranteed, though. There's two spots I always miss, and that's my first one. It's actually kind of cool. They make the first jump uh, one of the hardest jumps. So, um, go ahead and go over to the beam. See ya. Land on that. Then, let me line it up. And then, that's good right there. So now just go ahead and go to the right, hop on that, and now you need to go and navigate these wood planks. You can't go directly to the chandeliers on the right, so you need to start out going to the chandeliers on the left. Then hop on one of the chandeliers right there. Go ahead and hop on those, and you can either jump uh, over to that one or this one, doesn't matter. But the goal is to get the chandeliers on the other side, but like I said, you couldn't just hop directly on them before because I mean there's just no way so go ahead through here hop on that and now what you need to do is get to the point of that ladder and once you do it's gonna knock down and this is gonna give you a place where if you fall off you're gonna be able to start then, now I have a way back up in case I fall yeah he said it better than I did a way back up in case you fall so it points you in the right direction of where you need to go pretty much the second level and now just go ahead and turn around and you're going to see some more wood planks that are higher than the other ones. So go ahead and jump on those and those just like that. And now go ahead on the other cement blocks and go ahead and jump on that other one. And now you're going to have to navigate through these wood bl wood planks too. I was almost going to say wood planks. So you're going to have to swing on these chandeliers. Make sure you're lined up first instead of trying to turn in midair. And now you pretty much always go where the pigeons are I notice so if you see pigeons go there kind of like a homeless man in New York City so go ahead follow those chandeliers and get this wooden beam right over there and you see pretty much the cement thing against the wall that we're going to need to go to right there and also those wood planks to the right hand side and this mission actually gets easier um, the further we get especially when we get real far into it the first part is, I mean, the most likely to fall. So go ahead and hop on the other chandelier. And, yep, right over there. And these one uh, chandeliers right here. And now you see, scare those pigeons. And now you see, I might fall right here too. 
go ahead and jump on that and scooch all the way over to the right because I mean if you overshoot that one beam you'll still land where you need to land and it's not letting me jump I just look like a gymnast swinging here so I'm gonna go ahead oh I, cut, I guess because the archway was in the way so now go ahead and scooch all the way over to the right and now when you jump it's gonna automatically land on that ladder knock it down and you're gonna continue with the second part of your mission which is gonna be a second video for me but you see the ladder knocks down and you're gonna get a little message here that says you'll get it trust me oh it gives you the uh, entire tour of where you need to go beautiful yeah we're getting there by the way next tutorial so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time